Hey guys, this is um, the start of our adaptations section. There's going to be three different videos on the three different types of behavioral, um, on the three different types of adaptations. Behavioral adaptations is going to be first, which is this one. And this is SPI 1.6. So first we have to do our vocabulary words that we need to um, review. And the first one is adaptation. It's characteristics that improve an individual or organism's ability to survive and reproduce. And we're going to talk about behavioral adaptations, this whole um, fun sheet. And a behavioral adaptation is how an animal acts and behaves that helps it survive. So an innate behavior is something they're born with. It's inherited through genes. They're born with it. They are not taught this. Bees um, being able to fly, fish being able to, to go swimming. Those are things that are something they know how to do from the very beginning. Nobody taught them. Whereas a learned behavior, you learn it by observing others or by experiences. You're taught it. Dogs fetching, um, shaking paws, those things are taught. Humans speaking. When we learn to talk, that's a learned thing. We didn't just know how to come out knowing how to do that. All right, next we have migration. And migration occurs when animals or a group move from one region to another and back again. Um, they do this for a couple of reasons. For food, for temperature, um, birds fly south for the winter. Um, they were birth, they return to where they were born. Food when they're, oops, stop, 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 stop. Food when they run out of food in certain areas or it becomes scarce because of some type of environmental condition. And for safety, they travel because their area is no longer safe. Maybe there's an overpopulation of some type of predator, and so then they're going to migrate for those reasons. Um, hibernation. A period of inactivity in which an animal or animal's body, temperature, heart rate, and breathing rate slow dramatically down to conserve energy. Um, you know, in our area, we've got black bears, um, and they hibernate for a period of time during the winter months. Another period is called estivation. Estivation is like the opposite of hibernation. Um, it's a period of inactivity. In the summer months, when it is hot, in dry places, um, snakes, hedgehogs, and tortoise, desert tortoise do this. They go into estivation so they can stay cool and not be affected by the extreme heat. All right, now on your paper, we're going to identify the type of, um, well, the animal, and then we're going to talk about its adaptation. So, um, we can see what types of behaviors they're taking. So the first one is a puffer fish, and its adaptation is it blows up to appear larger. That will help scare away smaller animals um, or scare away predators. The next thing is a prairie dog. Um, they burrow to keep out of the hot sun. Um, next in the bottom left, we have... Uh, wildebeest and wildebeest travel in herds searching for food and safety safety in numbers there's a reason we say that they're harder to hunt when there's this many of them and then there's a sea turtle and the sea turtle returns to the same place every year to lay eggs um, that is something that they just know where to go and how to do. All right, a couple more. We're almost finished. Uh, we have the opossum. And the opossum, um, when it's frightened, it plays dead. 
So if you've ever heard the expression, don't play possum, that's what we're talking about. Um, next, there's the rabbit. And the rabbit will freeze in place. Um, and it just won't move. And it thinks that if you don't see it move, then you won't see it. The Mo uh, Mojave rattlesnake is a nocturnal and it comes out at it's active at night because it's so hot during the day that it rests to stay cool. Um, and then we have penguins. Maybe. There's our penguins. And they huddle close together for warmth and safety. So those are just some different examples of um adaptations that these animals go through and we're going to talk about more and other types of adaptations um, in the next fun sheets.